What's up, guys? Say hi. What up? Annabella. We want to see your face. There we go. Who's this? Brian. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Okay, we're going to show you how to edit your green screen. Here we go. This is a beautiful video we have of Sarah Linda, who is not here today, unfortunately. We are going to take this video of Sarah Linda and put a beach behind her. Okay, so we're going to go up to effects right here. If you don't have effects, you can go to window, workspaces, effects. And we should get this stuff over here. Okay, we are going to type in the word keying. And we will see this come up right here. It says ultra key. Okay. Hey, Christian. Christian, I see you. Quiet on set. We're recording a video. Okay, I'm going to take this keying. Okay, and I'm going to move it over here. Okay, now this is going to give me some options. I have this now. If you don't see this, you can go to effect controls up here. Okay. Um, I am going to click this dropper and I'm going to click a medium dark green color on the screen. Like, not this is too bright, this is too dark. I want to click a medium one, like right here. Ooh, we want it to look black. If it looks black behind her, that means we got rid of the background. Okay, um, you can see we still have some color over here. What we're going to do now is we're going to play with these controls. If I click the down arrow next to matte generation, we'll get some new controls here. And we can just drag these to the right and to the left, and we will be able to change how it looks. So we want to make it look black behind Sarah Linda, but not make Sarah Linda disappear. <laughs> so that looks pretty good. I always start with this one called pedestal and move it to the right. And I think that's it right there. That's all we need to do. Okay, now we can move this video of Sarah Linda up one line, one track. And we want to put something behind it. So right now we're going to put a beach behind it. Here's a picture of a beach right here with some nice beach wave sounds. And I got to put it down here. There we go. And I am going to right click scale to frame size. Uh huh. Okay, pretty good. Now that we have this in here, we can see that we need to make some corrections to the green screen to get rid of these lines. So let's try to do that. Let's see if we can do that. Let's play with the shadow a little bit. Move it to the left. And it looks pretty good. Okay, guys, so you can also click this matte generation and play with these things too to make it look better until it looks perfect. I'm not sure that perfect is possible, but you can do your best. It looks pretty good right there, though. It's good. That looks good to me.